Whew. Well, hello everybody. I am up here right now at uh, just outside of Motorcycles of Charlotte, and I am taking this home. It is a 2015 BMW R1200 RT. It is new bike day, <laughs> so this will be this will be interesting. This is a start of something new. Uh, I did not trade the Trident. This is. This is going to be a second bike. The Trident's going to be for around town and errands and fun. And uh, this is going to be for long distance and touring and adventures and hopefully a lot of good things for the years to come. And uh, so it is different. Oh. we go uh, so man I I had no plans what to do with this video I'm not sure even what to say uh, I'm gonna adjust this windshield a little bit One thing I might need to adjust is that shifter. It seems way down there. And also, or I'll just need to get used to some things. But oh my gosh, this is smooth and comfortable. Oh wow. Uh, you might be seeing some little bits of water. They just <laughs> they just washed it for me. Most of it's dry, but this is probably loosening up some of the other other water droplets that got into the crevices and all that. Uh, but man, this is comfortable. Uh, this is night and day compared to the Trident uh, or a lot of the other bikes I've ridden on the freeway. Uh, this is, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling a gentle breeze on my elbows and that's about it. I don't even think I have the windshield all the way up yet. Um, but, so it just feels like, man, like you could just do this all day. Uh, I'm gonna continue to keep doing videos on the Trident, of course, uh, as much as I can. Um, but this will this will let me do stuff and and uh, do some other videos about different things, different motorcycle, different types of riding. Wow. Let's go a little bit more there. Oh boy. Uh, so in a way, it's it is similar to the uh, the man. I oh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Uh, it does remind me a little bit of the Harley it, it, in a way that it just has such a commanding presence on the road. Like it just feels like this is what it wants to do. This is what it was made to do. Um, but it's even more comfortable. Um, the, the Harley for some reason just it just never quite fit right and this um, I'm already getting used to this the only thing is the shifter I feel like I got to bend my toe way down to get underneath the shifter so I might need to adjust that uh, anyway what was I talking about uh, this might be a bad video I'm sorry I'm just well uh, the mirrors are awesome I was I was a little bit worried I'm, I'm used to bar end mirrors um, but uh, I've also seen some people complain about them or some people aren't used to them, but I love them. So I'm used to looking down at a bar end. All right, so what I want to say, so this is first impressions of what, uh, what it's like to drive this bike home for the first time. Uh, I think I'm already in love. Um, I love that I'm sitting forward just a little bit, just enough that I, you know, kind of, um, you know, you're sitting in a position where you're not just uh, leaning all the way back. I still feel like you're you're kind of just slightly crouched forward. Um, 
in a way that makes you feel in control. I think that's that's probably the best way to describe how I feel right now is I feel super comfortable but also super in control and on top of things. Um, the handlebars are a little, they're, they're, they are down a little bit more than you would think. My, my knees are right about here but they got a nice gentle bend to them, a lot less uh, bent than, than on the Trident. Uh, but I guess the bars, I would expect the bars to be a little higher and I think that's probably what, how they are in the GS. Um, but I also like that a little bit. They're down lower that you can you can lean down on them and, and feel like you're in a little bit more control. I did a few laps around the parking lot just to get used to the agility of it and that was impressive. That was something uh, very different than what I was expecting. Yes, it's a it's a heavy bike, but it does not handle like that, even at low speeds. And uh, ultimately, that's one of the reasons why I went for um, for a BMW, for an R series, is um, that uh, the, the center of gravity is really low uh, compared to other bikes. Um, and, and it does make that low speed handling a, a lot better. If I, uh, in my way of thinking is if you're going to go do long distances you might be somewhere unfamiliar you might be doing a long day where you're tired and um, to me that would if you're being in an unfamiliar place and uh, and, and being tired or, or, or um, not necessarily being on top of things mentally that just makes it uh, a bad situation where it's going to be easier to, to drop a bike um, and I that's something I was trying to avoid. I, I wanted to make sure that uh, it was uh, you could I could find a bike that was going to be comfortable on the road for long distances, but also still easy to manage around town. Um, you know, because you, you got to get to you got to get to a campsite, you got to get to a hotel, uh, and and you don't necessarily want to be dropping a bike and breaking stuff uh, thousands of miles away from home or hundreds of miles away from the nearest dealer. And uh, so that, that's why I gravitated toward this. And right now I'm feeling good about that decision. The switch gear is, is different. The, the Trident, the, the switch moves a lot. This one, I barely have to push it. And oh wow, I am <laughs> doing 80. Uh, you didn't see that. I, that did not feel like I was doing 80. That felt the, the 60 and 80 feel the same. That is dangerous. Um, the only thing I could hear was the, the exhaust was a little bit louder. Um, and then I looked down at the speed. I'm keeping up with traffic. I'm okay, but that was, that was a little much. Uh, it is very light, very flickable. Uh, that word gets tossed around a lot, but it does describe that, especially the low speed handling. It just, you want to pick a radius and, and turn it. The, the, the Trident will, you, you lean it into a corner and it just goes. This, you kind of have to work on and, and holding uh, that circle and holding that turn. Um, it'll dip into it really easy, but then you have to make sure uh, you hold it there. Oh yeah, see I just barely have to push uh, the button. Now oh, this also is quick shift. Yeah, it is quick shift. Um, that's that's going to take me a little while to get used to that. Yeah, I'm going to have to adjust those mirrors out just a little bit more. Shifts are a little clunky. Not bad, but it does let you know it's going into gear. Especially uh, up that upshift there. That was. That's also very tall gears. That's what I'm gonna have to get used to too. Uh, Trident has very short gears, and you do a lot of shifting. I saw one video where a guy saying you could just keep it this thing in third and go the whole way. All right, let's try uh, let's try a quick shift. Whoa. <laughs> All right, don't do that when uh, 
you're behind somebody oh that was fun uh yeah that works and uh i was holding the throttle there and that's that's gonna that's uh, i'm gonna have to unlearn some things to get used to that uh, i've just been using a clutch lever all my life to shift so now let's put this back down uh that wind protection is awesome all right so there is some buffeting and some noise even though i'm only going about 35 now uh definitely feel that right on my helmet but also getting some fresh air push that up just a bit yeah and I'm looking way over it I'm not sure how much the GoPro is is picking this up but this uh, the windshield is level with about my chin right now so it's not in the way at all uh, the exhaust notes actually nice it's fairly pleasant it's not it's not going to be uh, aggressively loud or um, uh, it's not going to get anybody's attention, but it's also not going to make the neighbors mad at you. Hello, sir. Oh, brakes are nice. Oh, put my leg down and, and uh, rubbed up against the right cylinder that's gonna take some getting used to as well uh, but when I put my feet down I didn't get it they didn't uh, touch the pegs or anything weird like that oh I go down here I've been holding off on getting a quick shifter on the Trident. One, didn't want to spend any money that um, would have to be going toward a used bike, but I can see why so many people get it. You just, <laughs> you just touch it with your your toe, and you're you're, you're going, you're going faster. Uh, but this thing's it accelerates so smoothly. I know the K bikes with the six cylinder um, are you know you pull even harder like a freight train. But this is no slouch at all. And this also feels, it feels like a small bike. It does not feel small like the Trident, but it does feel a lot smaller than, than it is, than you think it's going to be when you walk up to it. You walk up to it and you throw a leg over it. And uh, <laughs> I showed uh, some friends uh, pictures of it and they're like, oh, it's a thick girl. Yeah, she's a thick girl, all right. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, she is. And so you walk up to it, and you're like, this is a, a big bike. It's not too tall. Uh, I like that. It's easy to, to put my feet down, and I'm, I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 and I can flat foot this really easy. It's uh, I got the regular seat, uh, and I got it on the normal height right now. I can probably bump it up a little bit. Oh, man, it just leans in nice. Yeah, it is easy to, it might not be the fastest bike in the world, but it'll still get you arrested if you're not watching what you're doing. Uh, let's see. It's, um, I w this probably a little bit more than I was looking to spend. I was looking at some of the older uh, RTs. Um, they, they are good bargains right now. They're a lot less than, than the, the wa this is the water-cooled version. And I would read the, the forums and a lot, of, a lot of the guys that traded up from the air oil cooled uh, boxers to the water cooled ones said they didn't regret it, that it was you know, light years ahead of the, the old model and um, just a better bike in every way. And so this would be something I want to keep for a long time and, and uh, add some accessories on and uh, personalize it and didn't necessarily want to do that to uh, a bike that was already going to be a little bit out of date when you buy it. Um, you know, I wanted uh, something that was going to last for a long time and, you know, be a little bit more future proof, I guess. But man, I guess my only worry I have is that I'm going to love this one so much that I'm not going to ride the Trident very much and uh, would have to sell that. 
that's not really the plan plan is to maybe give it to my oldest 